There is a city in Kareli with a special history, individual architecture, and unique destiny. A Swedish city of Sordavalla, a Russian city of Serdebol, a Finnish city of Sortavalla. The city has three dates of birth and three names. It has survived three full population changes. At different times, it belonged to three different states. The northern Ladoga region has long been inhabited by people. This army hunted here. Karelians built fortresses. Russians traded and they brought orthodoxy here. It all started over a millennium ago when the Karelians came here. It was them who gave our republic its name. In the chronicles it was spelled Korela with the letter O. For the first time, in 1143, the Korela tribe was mentioned in connection with the war events of the 12th century, and it so happened that the territory of the Karelians was divided. From the east, the Korela fell under the influence of Novgorod, and from the west, both the Karelian territories and the Finnish territories came under the rule of Sweden. <laughs> The rich nature and trade routes from north to south have attracted the attention of Western neighbors for centuries. Vikings were the first. Then, the Swedish knights. The shores of Europe's largest lake, Ladoga, often became the site of battles. The official date of birth of the city of Sortavalla is considered to be 1632, when the Swedish king Gustav II Adolf signed a decree. The monarch's portrait is cast on the bell of the first Lutheran church, in which they tried to convert Karelians to Protestantism. But much earlier, the Russian chronicles already mentioned Serdobolsky settlement of the Karelsky district of the Novgorod land, and its heart, the St. Nicholas Orthodox Church on the island of Rikkala, which means Greek. In the 17th century, the Finnish settlers came to the Ladoga region. The Finnish word Sortava is translated as divided, separating. The Vakkalahti Bay divides the city into two parts. Today, representatives of various nationalities who came from different parts of Russia live in Sortavala. The rich history of the city gave rise to its unique architectural appearance. The Finnish buildings of the turn of the 19th and the 20th centuries are especially well preserved. At that time, Sortavalo was developing very fast. Banks, trading and commercial rental buildings, educational institutions were being constructed. Finland's leading architects experimented and seemed to compete with each other. Buildings in the empire, neo-Gothic, neoclassicism, Finnish romanticism, functionalism and constructivism styles are side by side on the same street or square. Local stones, such as Gabro diabase, marble and granite, are used for the building constructions and decoration. The Ostia Bank building, constructed in the early 20th century, is especially worth our attention. Its facade is made entirely of Serdobolsky granite blocks. When you look at this building, you can hear the music of the stone. It is a very beautiful, unique construction. The old houses' interiors hide a lot of interesting things, but their secrets will not be revealed to everyone. The Ladoga region is rich in minerals. In prehistoric times, the sea was roaring here. Underwater volcanoes were erupting. According to geologists, they have been found even their traces of the meteorite explosion. These processes resulted in the formation of various rocks and minerals. Stone developments in the vicinity of the city of Sortavala 
and even within the city limits, have been carried out for several centuries. Durable and beautiful Sortavala stones were used in the construction of St. Petersburg. Palaces and churches, fountains and sculptures, bridges over the canals, the Neva embankment are made of the Sortavala stone. The Ruskiala Canyon is the witness of those times. In the 18th and 19th centuries, marble was quarried here. In the 20th century, there the building lime was produced. And in the 21st, local entrepreneurs created the popular tourist attraction here. Today, in the Ruskiala Mountain Park, you can get into the old tunnels and feel like a miner. You can see how the stone is processed. You can get acquainted with the traditions and life of local residents. Under the cave stone walls, it is cold even in the summer. The ice creations made by man and nature stay unaffected for many months here. Though we call this place permafrost sometimes, it is not so. The sculptures are created in the end of January or beginning of February. It has become a tradition. Picturesque landscapes in any season attract not only tourists, but also artists. The amazing acoustics of the Ruskiala Marble Canyon and the Italian Quarry makes it possible to hold music festivals in the natural scenery. The best way to get from the city of Sortavala to Ruskiala is by retro train, and the journey into the past will be especially exciting and enjoyable. On one of the central squares of Sortavala, you can see an unusual sculpture. A wise man in a bear skin, with a cantile, a folk musical instrument on his lap. It was in the Ladoga region where the epic songs were born in ancient times, and then passed on from generation to generation, which became the foundation of the Karelian and Finnish Kalevala epic poem. By the beginning of the 20th century, in this area, there lived about 200 storytellers and rune singers. One of the most famous, Petri Shemeka, healer and hunter, served as a prototype for the sculpture. The monument was erected in 1935, on the occasion of the 100th anniversary of the first Kalevala edition, during the Song Festival. The tradition of song festivals in Sortavala dates back to the end of the 19th century, and it was reintroduced in the 21st century. On the city streets and in the Vakasalmi Park, the cantile is still heard. Not only folk songs, but also classical works are performed. Song festivals bring together thousands of artists, amateur and professional choirs. At the turn of the 19th and 20th centuries, suburban country houses, dachas, began to appear on the picturesque shores of Lake Ladoga. Some of them, such as Villa Tarulina or a fairy tale castle, are real architectural masterpieces. The building was constructed in the Finnish National Romanticism style. It is very beautiful, very comfortable, with good aura. Around the house, which deserves to be considered a gem of architecture, there is an arboretum, a real Garden of Eden on the Ladoga shore. The typical of the north and rare trees and shrubs grow here. Planted by the first owner of Tarolina, Gustav Winter, a sort of all a doctor and public figure. At present, the estate is a modern tourist complex. Gustav Winter's house has been restored and turned into a memorial museum. 
the atmosphere of the early 20th century was accurately recreated. On the walls, you can see the photographs of the owner. One of the rooms is dedicated to Nicholas Rerich, famous artist, philosopher, and writer, who from 1917 to 1919 was improving his health in Sortvala and could be among Dr. Winter's friends and patients. In the Sortvala Cultural Center dedicated to the artist, you can learn about the Sortvala period and the life of Nicholas Rerich and see the copies of the canvases painted on the Ladaga shores. The former Randola estate, located in the Ladagascaris National Park, on the shores of the Kirjevalachti Bay, is also experiencing a new stage of its life. The building is constructed also in the Finnish Romanticism style and resembles an old castle. The original appearance and many interior details survived. Since 1946, the composer's art house has been located here. Then. The composers of the Soviet Union rested here. At present, many famous Russian composers, musicians and artists keep coming to relax and create their works surrounded by northern nature. You can see here the Grand Piano, presented by composer Alexander Pachmutova, and it was here that Alexander Kolker wrote his famous song about Karelia. Now Rantola Estate is opening a new page in its life. Before our rise, Rantola is transforming into a modern landscape hotel with comfortable rooms and an author's cuisine restaurant. We are working on the restoration of the Hunter's Castle, as well as creating the Composers Club because composers still come here to work, but we are also looking forward to new guest visits. One of the main values of this place is its unspoiled nature. For those wanting to take a walk and enjoy the magnificent views, the ecological route inspiration has been laid. In addition to spiritual food, Sortavala is ready to offer its guests a lot of other pleasures. For example, the national cuisine. For several years now, the Karelian Kalitka festival has been held here. We wanted the Sortavala visitors, in addition to enjoying our nature and sightseeing, to have a very special memory of Karelia and Sortavala something reminding of their childhood at the level of tastes. Therefore, we decided to make the Karelian Kalitka festival. Kalitka is the local most popular pastry made of rye flour, the culinary brand of Karelia. There are many kinds. They are made of unleavened dough. Here is a Karelian Kalitka and a Finnish one. But the most nutritious and the delicious is, of course, a Karelian one. The typical filling is mashed potatoes, rice or millet porridge. But the festival gives an opportunity to experiment. Nothing can stop the fantasy of culinary specialists. You can see and taste absolutely anything. Kalitkars with fish and venison, berries and mushrooms, pumpkin and turnip. The highlight of the program is a giant kalitka pie. It is already four centuries that the city of Sortavala has been looking into the waters of Lake Ladega as in the mirror, old and young, with ancient architecture and picturesque surroundings, rich history and active cultural life, it always welcomes guests. Sure, our goal is to offer visitors as many services as we can in various areas – ecological tourism, cultural tourism, agricultural tourism, and, possibly, medical tourism. Welcome to Sortavala!